Dave, congratulations on your 150th video. Dave Kaufman, congratulations on 150 videos. Congratulations on your 150 videos, Dave. About time you did something with your life. Congrats, Dave, on the 150. I mean, I, I could have sworn that it was a lot more. <laughs> hey, congratulations, Dave. We wish you the best of luck moving forward. 150 videos is huge, dude. Look forward to 150 more, man. Dave, I, I know I always call you slacker, and I'm starting to kind of feel bad about it, especially since this is 150 videos. I mean, I put out 150 videos, like maybe my, my second year on YouTube. I know you've been doing this for about six, but, uh, yeah, I guess you really are a slacker. If you if you actually put this in the video, that's why I'm looking forward to Australia trip. I'll see you in Australia, my friend. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I tour the world to see how reptiles are living in the wild. And while I'm at it, checking out some of the most amazing facilities and reptile expos as well. It's all about learning, appreciation, and conservation. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. All right, so the expo just opened. Look at all these people. This is absolutely amazing. Look at that. It goes all the way down there. You're just gonna have to take my word for it because I'm too lazy to walk all the way down there. What's up, Rattlers? So yes, this is my 150th episode, and I bet you're saying, Dave, you've been doing this for quite a while. Why only 150 episodes? Well, back when this was called Herper's TV, when I first started out, I had no idea what I was doing. I just had some spare footage, and I threw it up on a channel called Herper's TV. I uploaded like once a month. Again, I had no idea what I was doing, not like, you know, now. But this is the Anaheim Reptile Super Show. There's a lot of firsts going on here. Most notably is that this is the first time that the Reptile Super Show is here in Anaheim, California. This is an enormous reptile expo. This is three acres, 430 vendors. This is the biggest reptile show you guys have ever seen. So I'm heading in to check out this monster of a reptile expo and see who wins the very first ever Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle On Awards. Anaconda don't want none unless you got Corona, son. <laughs> All right, so this rattler was the very first one in line this morning, and you got up at what time to be there? I've got proof of it. <laughs> I got up at three o'clock this morning. Yeah, uh, got on the freeway about three thirty. Got here by five. So you got here at five a.m. And you were the very first one in line of all these people. Right. And so what did you get by being here at 5 a.m. and being the first one through the door? What did you get here today? Uh, well, let's see. I did get these two ball pythons, which are really nice. Uh, it's, I got a yellow belly for $40. Oh, very nice. And I got a cinnamon head clown for $50. Very nice. So totally under $100, which is... Score! Which, yeah, score! So you have a YouTube channel yourself. What yes, is Tell everybody about it. Okay, so Snake Royal TV was started by me. It was an individual project for uh, for about a year. Uh huh. Uh, we're going strong. We got about well now nine animals. Very nice. Um, people call me a hobbyist, which I'm totally fine with. Sure. 
I would love to try to become a breeder someday and join the reptile community. Fantastic, man. Best of luck to you with all that. Thank you very much. Right on. I appreciate it. All right, so what is your name? My name's Josh. Uh, Scales, Fins, and Feathers on YouTube. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we're here at the, at the Anaheim Show once again, and the pleasure of running into the man himself. Right on. Well, it's Rattle great on. meeting you. Rattle on, dude. What uh, did you get here? You got some awesome stuff uh, here. Yeah, I've been, I've been searching for these guys for a while, but I wanted to make sure I I got captive bred. I didn't want to. I didn't want to pull you. any wild ones. And finally, uh, found a guy that's from Utah that's breeding these guys. And so I got what looks to be a pair. So that super stoked. Fantastic. So these are red-eyed crocodile skinks. Yeah. Yep. And these are just super cool. And it's just kind of a bummer because these only have one uterus, and therefore they only have one baby at a time. And one of the few reptiles that will actually care for their young and that's teach them true. to hunt. And and uh, they and once they have siblings, the siblings will help the babies in, in a little small little family group. That's uh, so rare for reptiles. Absolutely, these are just amazingly awesome. So I just wanted to show off these awesome T-shirts here. So this is Rachel, the artist, and uh, tell us about your company. Okay, so uh, I started about six years ago with stickers. That's why the name of my business is Happy Gecko Stickers. Um, and I, the last couple years, I expanded into T-shirts, and they're doing super well. Um, I have tons of animals that are drawn of my friends, animals, my animals. People send me pictures of their stuff so they can get some custom work done. That's fantastic. So put them all on t-shirts and stickers and everything and it's been, it's taken me about six years to do everything. That so, is fantastic. Yep. So how do people get a hold of you to get one of your t-shirts? Uh, well, I do have a website at reptilestickers.com. You can go on there, email me. I'm also on Facebook and Instagram under Happy Gecko Stickers. Um, just DM me, email me, however you need to, and we can work together to get some stuff going. So this pie right here, $2 from the sale of this shirt goes to breast cancer research. And it even has my size, so I'm totally getting this one. Look at this, Rattlers. Do you all know how much I love pied, so I am totally getting this t-shirt. That is awesome. So it wouldn't be a trip to the Reptile Super Show without running into my friend Edgar from Gecko Gen. You always have such amazing stuff every time I see you, and look at this little Thank dude. You. So this is a new line a new genetic line of crested geckos that you have developed. His name is Apocalypto, and it's a very interesting gecko because of the type of color that, he's, uh, that he displays, basically. But in addition to that, in lacking some sort of yellow and red, he also has this mutation in the eyes that make his eyes look really dark. He didn't really display the full black iris until it was fully mature. But look at that eye, it's like jet black. He's very unique because of the dark eyes, but all of the siblings from the crosses from a specific uh, female that I have produces this uh, color gecko. So I am not sure what the more phenotype, the mutation is gonna be called just yet. I'm thinking, I mean, I like the Apocalypto name. I anyways. like the Apocalypto fit. So, um, you know, he is very light. He fires up dark at times, but you can see the patterns on the side are kind of like a tiger, sort of like a Halloween. Yeah, look at uh, that. Because he has really nice pattern on him. So as far as Cresteds are concerned, you know, there's Lily Whites, that's a morph, but there really aren't a lot of other morphs out there, and this is a brand new morph of Crested Gecko that you have developed. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, I have several of these guys already running around and uh, several test crosses done. But you have proved them to be Kodam, though. Uh, yeah, it is. In fact, I've uh, all the test crosses against reds and yellows produce some grays like this guy, as well as some, uh, I would say, some, some sort of expression of it uh, with the original cross as well. That is incredible. Edgar, every time I come to your table, there is always something new and innovative. And again, it wouldn't be a trip to the Super Show without running into you. Well, I'm so happy to see you as always. Thank you for showcasing me. And, you know, we are definitely very thankful that you have this show. And uh, thank you, man. Of you, I've reached so much, uh, so many people. I love hearing that. Wow, congratulations on that. That is just an amazing gecko. Thank you, Dave.
the January 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle On Awards. You know, with 430 vendors here and probably over 100,000 reptiles at this place, this is gonna be extremely challenging. But let's start with the Rattle On Awards for the best new breeder. And man, after talking with all the vendors here and all the breeders here, man, really, really hard decision. But then I talked to Kylie from Gargoyle Queen Reptiles and man, wait till you see what she's working with. All right, so this is Kylie from Gargoyle Queen Reptiles. So how long have you been doing this? So I've been breeding since 2010, but we've had a lot of uh, different species of animals for a lot longer than that. So you have some of the most amazing gargoyle geckos I've seen, some amazing crusties. Is that basically what you work with, is crusties and gargoyles? Uh, gargoyles is my specialty. I really like the high color stuff, so that's kind of what I specialize in. But uh, I like crusteds. I also have Chihuahua and Lichianus. I, I like New Caledonian geckos in general, so I work gotcha. with a bit of everything. So you've been doing this since 2010, so yes. you've been doing this for 10 years now. Yes. And then before I turned on the camera, we were talking and you said that you quit your job and now you're just doing this full time. I am, yeah. And it's been fantastic. It was a lot of hard work to get to where I am. Uh, a lot of long hours, but I made it to a point where it made sense and uh, it's, been, it's been fun. So, we have quite a few of uh, uh, holdbacks and breeders here to show off at the show. We also have some animals for sale. Um, but these animals right here are some that we have produced. Uh, we really specialize in high colored gargoyle geckos. Um, we have a lot of really high red stripe colorations and we have some red uh, super blotches on this side on the table. And um, we've got a lot of babies here for sale right now that are also very high color with high potential for color development. So this one's Helix, who's the gecko we produced. Um, we actually, this one came from a breeding loan. Um, my, it was my uh, female and uh, friend's male, and she is fantastic. She's fired down right now, so she fires up extremely red. Wow. So again, this is your full-time job, so how many geckos are you working with? Ooh. You know, I don't keep track. Hey, neither do I, actually. <laughs> oh. um, uh, I'm more maybe between four to six. Four to six hundred geckos that you're working with. Yeah. So it's stories like yours that I absolutely love. You know, you you started breeding geckos, you quit your job, and now you're doing this full time. You're doing something that you love full time and making a living at it. I love stories like that. Yeah, yeah. It's been a lot of fun. It's been so great. what do you think was your biggest challenge for all the people out there that dream about quitting their job and breeding reptiles for a living? What is you know, some advice that you have for them and what was your biggest challenge doing that? So I think one of the things people don't realize when they see me breeding for a living is that it's not as easy as buying two animals and throwing them together and then getting babies you can sell right away at a high price. There's a lot of reputation building and you want to put quality in your stock. Whatever you do, put the best quality that you can into it. Don't just get the cheapest thing you can. It's all about quality, it's all about reputation, treat your customers well, and just be genuine. That is wonderful advice. Well, congratulations on all of your success. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you. And that is why I'm giving Gargoyle Queen Reptiles the January 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle On Awards for the best new breeder. Look at this, only a herper would get that. <laughs> totally guilty. So this being a new location for the Reptile Super Show, I decided to do a new category for the Rattle On Awards. Just wait until you guys see this really weird little dude that sparked the new Rattle On Award category for the weirdest reptile here. So this is a two-headed gargoyle gecko. I've never seen anything like this before. Man, that is one funky monkey. So this is Ryan from Good Life Geckos. He's the one who bred this really funky two-headed gargoyle gecko. You gotta tell us, what did you think when you saw this guy come out of the egg? I originally thought it was two babies just in one egg. Finally, when they emerged a little bit more, I realized that they shared one butt, um, <laughs> which was 
a shock to say the least. I bet it was. So this one's, what did you say, four months old? Four and a half months old right now. Um, both of the animals eat and defecate. Uh, they share the same vent. Um, lower uh, intestinal tract is actually fused, so they both defecate and both eat. Wow, so when you have a, any animal that's, you know, a conjoined twin like this one, Life expectancy isn't all that very high, is it? Maybe a few days. Maybe yeah. a few days at best. Um, like I said, luckily they've lived four and a half months. They eat on their own out of a dish. Um, we do pipe feed them every once in a while just to make sure that they're still intaking some nutrients. But yeah, it's a really weird anomaly. Wow, but four months in and they're doing well. Four months in, they're doing well. Fingers crossed. All right, well, then I'm going to have to come back and see them as adults pretty soon here. For sure, Dave. So, Rattlers, just look at this little conjoined twin gargoyle gecko. I've never seen anything like this before. Man. This is just so cool, and he's giving me a little kiss. Check that out. <laughs> this is by far the weirdest, don't bite your brother. No biting your brother. But this is by far the weirdest reptile I've seen here at the 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show, and that's why I'm giving this conjoined twin gargoyle gecko the very first ever Rattle On Awards for the weirdest reptile here. So when it comes time to presenting the Rattle On Award for the best snake here, man, this was extremely challenging because there's just so much awesomeness here. But check out this little dude I found over at RNP Reptiles where I have found one of the coolest and kind of underrated snakes. This is a Blue Baron's Racer. Check this guy out. He is just turquoise blue and musking me. Ooh, that is not a pleasant scent. Yeah, I'm talking about you. So there's two phases of the Baron's Racer. There's the blue one like this that are just, again, turquoise blue, but then there's also the green phase. But the blue ones are really the ones that are sought after. You know, the green ones are not without their charm, but man, when you have just such an awesome blue turquoise snake man, how can you not love these blue barren racers? These are just amazing snakes. But just look at that aquamarine, almost turquoise blue body. And what makes these snakes really cool is look at that pointed nose that these snakes have. That's one of the diagnostic features of a barren's racer. So amazing. So this is Nick from RNP Reptiles. So we were talking about the genetics in the blue uh, Barons racers and how you get the blues from the greens. Yes, um, th there's a lot of interesting uh, thoughts on, on the genes on the green and the blue on these. Uh, some people have thought that there's a co-dominant or recessive, but it seems to be a lot more complicated than that. Uh, so I've bred green to blue with three different crosses and gotten all green twice and a half and half on the other one. And then when I bred all blue, I've received all blue. Other people I've talked to have bred blue to blue and also gotten all blue. And I've also talked to people who said they've had blue babies turn green later and green babies turn blue later. So it's kind of hard to tell what you're gonna get. Absolutely, so it kind of works like a codom, but it really doesn't work like a codom. Exactly. Or... Yes. It's a very complicated gene. It's hard to say what you're going to get. And that is why I'm giving this guy the January 2020 Reptile Super Show Rattle On Award for the best snake here.
So for the January 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle On Awards for the best Chelonian here, I didn't have to look any further than Turtle Mafia. So this is Eric from Turtle Mafia. You are working with this amazing species of turtle. You know, for those who have never heard about the vampire musk turtle, tell us a thing or two about them. The more common name is Narrow Bridge Musk Turtle. They're a species native to Mexico. Uh, they're a monotypic species uh, in the genus Claudius. There's no other relative. As you can kind of see, uh, instead of having just a single beak in the middle, they got almost like uh, almost like sharp little canine teeth. On the males, it's more uh, evident. The, the females, it's not quite as obvious here. All right, so this turtle is, you know, kind of a chubby little turtle, but there's a reason for that. Yes, uh, this is one of the breeders. Her weight is uh, heavier than a normal a turtle of this species. We, right before breeding, we tend to put the weight on them, so they're gonna produce strong and healthy uh, eggs and offspring because of that. So Rattlers, this is a really awesome turtle with a really awesome name. And that is why I am giving the Vampire Musk Turtle the January 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle on awards for the best Chelonian here. So this is Don here at Highlighter Chameleons. What can you tell us about this amazing chameleon? I can tell you that this is um, the nicest uh, quote unquote yellow body, blue bar, um, Ambilobi we have right here. He is um, quote unquote unicorn of the Ambilobi world because at rest, this is the resting color. They usually have a green body. Um, and when they're fired, which means when they see uh, either female or another male, they change to their you know, most brilliant colors, which is yellow. Yeah. But he is yellow all the time. He's everything you want in a Catholic bread uh, panther chameleon. Absolutely. So. Wow. So these are panther chameleons. Now, panther chameleons, they kind of have a small range in northern Madagascar. But these are one of the biggest chameleon species out there, and they are by far the most colorful chameleons out there. When I saw this chameleon, man, this was one of those jaw-dropping moments when you see a lizard like this, and you just, man, you just get hit with this, well, there's no better way to put it than just a holy crap moment when you see a lizard like this. So Rattlers, with over 430 vendors here, Man, it was a really difficult choice, but when I saw this guy, man, it was really almost a no-brainer why this guy, yes you, wins the January 2020 Anaheim Reptile Super Show Rattle On Awards for the best lizard here. So Rattlers, I was talking with Rami, who is the promoter of the Reptile Super Show, and I asked him if this was going to be a permanent thing, if the January Super Show was going to remain here in Anaheim, and he said that yes, in fact, it was going to remain here in Anaheim for the January show. The August show is going to be in Pomona. So anyway, Rattlers, so that does it for this show. I have some amazing adventures coming up, so be sure to hit that like button on this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload, and until the next Reptile Adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on. Look, he's doing it.